Okay, last night, well, first, good morning. Hello, everyone. Okay, last night I was working on this one while watching TV. This one is called Multi Pink. This one is Bubble Gum. They come out with uh, its mixed colors already. And I thought I'd buy this one to make sure or to see what it looked like when it's uh, turned into roses already. So look at that. It's pretty, isn't it? That's with what that one. I think I like it. And this pink one here, I made one and that's what it looked like. So I think it's pretty good. Okay. My hideout place. Stash in the attic. Okay, I got a TV here while I am working over here. Okay, that's where I'm working and I'm facing on the TV. Okay, over here. Oh, how did it get out of the way? I got all my yarns here. I put them under the table in this big cellophane bags that I got. Okay. You may wonder why I had so many, so many yarns. Well, I got like, I go to Goodwill when they had 50% off. And you go to church, bazaar, they had like sale on their church thing. They had like, when they're trying to raise money, that's when they have, uh, you want to sell some stuff. Oops, what happened to you? You got there. Yes, I like this one. Yeah, these are so many colors. In it. I put them in a cellophane so they won't get dusty because I have three cats that goes around in the attic too. So I had to protect them. And then a lady, my best friend in Florida, gave me a bag and a half. And there was an estate sale that we went through. The lady, the old lady, is going to the nursing home and she could not do any crocheting there I don't know how sick she is but uh, they're selling it and I bought like a two bags or a bag and a half of yarns for uh, $12 look at that there's a fancy Christmas color another Christmas color over there yeah so I bought them because I really don't buy um a regular price on this kind of stuff so oh that big white one I got I got I gotta do something with that okay over here I got those uh, thing over there for making hats over here these are my aprons that I made so far you can see them and over here are my um, centerpieces that I made so far Yes, I put them there. My daughter loves them. She brings them to school. I got those blankets there. And these are remnants of my projects that I made. We, you know, when we used to wear masks, I made masks. And these are just like cheap stuff on sale that I bought in John's Fabrics. Oh, what's up, pretty? I need to do something with this cloth. Yes. And let's go on this over here. I don't know how where I got this. Must be in a garage sale. They look brand new, but I thought I can cut them into things and create projects that I would like. And of course, I got my sewing machine there that I put. In. I got another one. This one. Look at this berries. How pretty that berries is. I thought I will make like a flowers out of them that's what I had in mind when I bought it and this one oh yes I like this one to this beads look at that this is already like a tulip uh, thing already you just put the beads in there to make create to be created you, make, you can make projects out of those stuff more beads in here Yes, I got assorted beads. 
over here you can see more yarns that I already used part of them. I had to finish them and I run out of cellophane. More cloth over there and more cloth over here. You know, I make aprons. You know, you make those um, like leftover pieces of cloth you got and then you cut them into squares or whatever and then you can, uh, what do you call that project? You can make a blanket out of those things. This one here, I, I did this a long time ago and I haven't finished this thing. Look at this yellow cell phone bag, like a clutch, clutch bag. And I got this one, I need to put the zipper on, which I never got the time. Yes, this is a bag. I think I finished this one, look at that. It's got the handle and the back right there, which I don't know on this one. I don't know. I have yet to finish that one. I don't. I haven't decided if I had to finish them as a clutch or as a bag. I had to make a handle on it. Maybe a shoulder handle and more stuff in here that I need to finish. I don't want to start projects that I can finish just like this one. I'm trying to change my ways. See like that? That's an unfinished project tools in here I got threads in here the tiny little spools and elastics in here garters and over here I got assorted um, buttons and this one is my cross stitch pattern right in here okay this one you can make them into ribbons in your, uh, what do you call this, if you make a red. Yes, there's more pink colors in there. My book patterns or something. I have this uh, stuff if you want to make a shirt. Make it easier. And more yarns over here. I need to do something. And this is the spools of yarns. This is a different kind of thread though. Is being watched by a rabbit and jigsaw puzzle I like jigsaw puzzles too I don't have I just made them and stashed them under the bed or in the garage because you gotta buy a, a frame and I don't have a wall to put a spools of uh, cross stitch more up here I put them in the bag I don't know why the mirror is here okay Yes, the more jigsaw puzzle puzzles in here. And this is Thomas Kinkid or something like that. It's pretty. And there is more. I don't know where I put them. And there's more beads in here. I think I got all this much yellow. I think... I got these yellow beads in a Goodwill store, I think. It's a purse. It's a bad purse. And I bought them, so I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Just, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. More beads in here. Yeah. Oh, this one, I like, I was going to call this pieces you can put them as I don't know in your necklaces this one here this is a, a button you can make a project out of those things and this one here yes look at this tiny seed beads I got yes these are seed, seed beads and I got more up here this one I got more up here that I haven't figured out to I run out of containers and look at this I got all these beads over here that I don't know what to do yet this are uh, this one my husband bought it from Timo we shop Timo's okay more of this stuff Oh, this is my sewing machine stuff. 
I think you call I don't know what you call that stuff. So I had like each spool has colors, so I don't have to use only one then empty it and then start another one. So I got those ready so I don't have to keep changing. This one I think I got it at Barnes and Nobles. Look at the green one, it's sparkle. This purple one is so huge. This is a big purple. Okay, look at that. It's cheaper to buy them on sale on uh, Joanne's Fabrics. Containers like this, you can buy them. This is like one, two, three, four, four times. 24 uh, slats you can buy them cheaper at oh my goodness i got it in my head i could not remember the name of the store oh my gosh it's in my head but i'm sorry i could not recall the name of the store which i'm so familiar with but for some reason it slips it's slipping out of my mind Okay, what else I got here? This container, I got them in Dollar Tree. Right now, mostly of their stuff are a dollar twenty-five. Not so much stuff that are a dollar. I don't think they have a dollar item now. Oh, this one is pretty. Look at that. Card thing. When I got them in a garage sale, it was supposed to be a belt, and I cut them and I just put them as spacer green and this white thing. This is pretty nice. Oh, this one it's plastic, but it's it's good. Yeah, this is heart shape. No, not heart, it's star. It's a star. Yeah, you can buy this pony beads. And this one, I had some projects that I wanna use. These are, look at that. These are leaves that are ready. So I got that one. I got something in my mind on that project. And over here, yeah, I get more stuff over here that's a different size. And this one is a little bit bigger size. That's a small. And this is a little bit bigger. And this one here is larger. Okay. Now, yeah, I still got those beads over there. Okay, those are my pins colored because I like to color too. I like to color and I had a book that is a coloring book and I love to do that. These are my big spools of uh, thread. Next one is my ribbon and that one is a pot holder that I've been making and it's laces in the bottom. So I just put it in containers like that and look at this one. I'm not going to open this one until I am ready that is a big one because I already used part of I mean, the first container that I got I already used them this one I'm not gonna use them until I finish the ones that I have open but I had to buy them because they are on sale they are like 50% off you can buy them for $30 but it's 50% um, off and you can get another discount Thank for being a loyal customer, I guess. What's in here? I don't know if I showed you this one. Yeah, these are just small stuff that I had years ago, I think, that i um, forgotten, that I just found out. Okay, yep, more stuff over here. Okay, over here, yes, I showed you that one over there, the berry thing. Those are assorted um, buttons. Another one of this. I like this one. A spacer. Yeah, more 
that's uh, to put in your key so you would not forget what's the key for oh I have this one I forgot about that one I can use that for okay over here I even got my uh, paintbrush in, in case I like to paint I got uh, I don't know what happened to my uh, glue gun okay over here you can see I had lines and lines of thread cross stitch uh, thread I used that I used to cross stitch I still got numbers in here so you want to uh, when it asks for the numbers so you have it it's just not arranged very well when we when I transferred here in the attic because um, I don't have that much time and yes so I got this one here I got all this uh, do you call this wires and I got all those that one over here are nylons and more beads over here this one if you see this one yeah you can see it it's necklaces but I call them um, I call them garlands they're pretty there's names in this garland like this one it's got the word peace and over here on the purple one that I made it's got the word loving yes it's got the word loving yes I got words in some of them this one is faith this orange one I call them garlands I got more bees that I don't even know I have them long time ago and those I made this one too and this one I made this one too no not this one these are uh, done but I made this one yeah I I bought this one in Avon this one I bought them in a garage sale that I want to cut them into pieces and use them for my creation this pink one yes I made this pink one I made this one over here too they are called garlands but some are decent I made it good I guess over here these are pearls that I never had I used to make pearls uh, flowers in a vase but I never got the time yet and this one these are spacer or these are charms this one it says thank made with love this one here made with love but when I make the hats I'm gonna stick it over there that I made it with love this one here bracelets yes I made this bracelet it's pretty isn't it but I saw them wear them and this one here I made this bracelets I'm proud of that I made that so yellow this one yes I made this one it took me a long time but I made it and I made this one as well all of this year I made I can't believe I made it really I made it and this one it's pretty see that it's pretty yeah I made those and this one I did not put them in containers yet because I still got spacers available that I can use so I leave it there. Once again, I bought them in uh, John's Fabrics when they get 50% on sale. And look at this. This one, I bought them in Walmart. Like when we shop, I would just say like, oh, I want to get just one strand. One pack like this. I don't know. Maybe I'll make a chandelier. Who knows? what I can do with this thing maybe a chandelier that's what I'm gonna do because they're just pretty to make an ordinary thing okay and I got my uh, what do you call this thing um, zipper 
yeah for some future project because I was thinking of making um, horses this one I bought this too to put it in your garden see that uh, board like that like this one you label you mark what you what you planted in there so you will remember what you planted so you gotta label it in the ground put them in the ground okay that's how I get into all this crap and I called it my my uh, hideaway place never get bored in here there's just so so much to do for me and I even got my paint here I forgot yes I got my paint right in here okay thank you for watching assorted bids in there that I don't even know what to do with them yet I know I will I will find a way and over here are my sticks wire sticks to form a flower oh my god you know I got more yarns in there okay thank you for watching my videos I'm just trying to tell you how I got so many yarns this one I got them years years ago so I don't even know because I was so focused on uh, doing this cross stitch when you know the trend start I mean it's just started and then now you cannot even do this I finished one on the airplane for 14 hours but now you cannot bring a a needle in the airplane so strict right now so maybe cross stitching is not so strict you can still cross stitch I guess in the airplane and again my yarn I did not pay a full price in it some are given away some are from estate sale some are 50% off some are given away and that's about it thank you so much for watching my videos and I'm looking forward to do more projects see what I can I can do to occupy my time especially here that it's it's getting very very cold that's why I get into this projects okay thank you for watching my video bye bye